Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to explore another amazing theme park? Today we're going to be looking at a realistic British styled theme park with Oswald's Observatory featuring a handful of coasters and attractions. It is a sprawling park. So stay tuned everybody and let's check it out. Hey yo, my pole attic coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today we're looking at Oswald's Observatory, created by Squash Pickle. Love the name. One of our Discord builders and bronze patrons. Thank you for your support, Squash Pickle. And a shout out to the rest of the patrons here. If you guys want to get your name added to these credits or the credits at the end of the video, or have VIP access to the monthly vlogs and Discord VIP room, as well as get spotlight priority, like Squash Pickle has here today. You can check out our Patreon program. It offers all sorts of amazing stuff for the supporters. So thank you guys for supporting the show. And with that out of the way, let's see what Squash Pickle has to say about their park. Inspired by Moomin Little Sox's Worthington Farms, Oswald's Observatory is a realistic British park with a history of delighting their guests. In 1963, Oswald Archimedes constructed an observatory to observe the stars above the idyllic British countryside. Ten years later, the humble Ob Oswald's Observatory opened to the public as a tourist attraction with a carousel and a picnic field. Over time, as visitor numbers grew, so did the park, adding roller coasters, eateries, and flat rides. And now in 2021, Oswald's Observatory hosts a banner of thrills for guests to enjoy in addition to food outlets and accommodation. Oswald's has been designed to evolve over time and I plan to update the workshop with new additions throughout special events and seasons. Hmm, that's interesting. The park uses TMTK to achieve realism, which can be found on the right of the page of the paid parks workshop. Oswald is also a budget realistic park, so facades and show buildings have been used. Please experience the park during day, but ride trackless, dark ride at night. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. To all the Channel 5 team, thank you for entertaining the Planko community. You're very welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right on into this. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. We are just getting off the bus here. And uh, as we can see here, this is the Starbucks coffee and uh hotel oswald's hotel so we're at the very back end of the park with all the accommodations hotel oswald checking things out look at this this is looking really nice so we uh pass on through here we got some farmlands oswald's working the farm what do we have here the oswald village so if you want to stay overnight you can get yourself a little, uh, bunk. Rainbow. I think these, uh, are shoutouts. Crystal. Shoutouts to some friends, some Easter eggs, sunshine. Golden view, or maybe not. Maybe those are just random words. I do not know. Boom, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. I can hear some flower. Ooh, look at this parking lot. Tons of gardening in between. We whip across this massive parking lot only to arrive at Oswald's Observatory. Let's get it. Ticket sales. Get your ticket. Ch -ch Ching. All right. We got our tickets. You can see the guests are pouring in. Now, when your park runs well, I don't know if it ran well on the squash pickles end, but it definitely runs well on my end. Opened this up, getting fantastic frame rates. Uh, I had to let in a thousand guests, and then I realized all the guests wanted to go in the queue of the uh, the wooden coaster. They lit like a thousand, like the queue is so long, like a thousand guests fit into that, and they all went in it. I'm like, crap, I guess I better let in another thousand. So here we are. We have 2,000 guests. I had to open up all the rides and attractions. Anyways, the point is, if you have a well-running park, let some guests in, open up your rides, um, and have a good time. So it's all ready to go. But I understand it. Um, leaving it up to the... Cr if, if, if other people don't have the best computers, maybe it's better to have a ghost park. But I think this park runs just fine on most machines. Here we go. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go around this clockwise, I guess. It looks like there's a train going through. Hopefully the guests don't get run over. I think we should go on the Coca-Cola drop. <laughs> Beautiful. I love Coca-Cola. That is my favorite soft drink. For sure. 
Oh, and the Coca-Cola Sky Aces. I, I like going on these ones too. It's quite fun. When you got like a giant back end to your park, a giant parking lot, and uh, a sprawling theme park, it is really quite fun to uh, give these a ride. Get some pretty good views here. It's, <laughs> it's as if it were, it's feeling very realistic. I feel like I'm really on the ride. This is really well done. Look at that. That is great. And what about the drop tower? Oh, it's going up now. Quickly. Which view? Which view? Wait, is it just finishing? Nope. Nice view of the park there. Can we get like a different row? Is it gonna launch one more time? Is it a double launch or is it a single? I think it's letting us off now. Every time I get off these, they launch one more time. I think that's it. All right. Adam Inc. Ooh, nice looking build. Oh, spinning coaster. That's fun. There's a look at the results, everybody. I think we will do a chase view for this and we can watch the spin. Alright, very fun. I am uh, definitely seeing the inspiration from Moomin's, Moomin's little park there, Worthington Farms. It's looking very f familiar. I like it. I like that you can actually kind of follow the same build style and make it look and feel very similar. The observatory. This is what it all started as. That's the backstory right there. And then it just kept on adding more and more and more. What do we got back here? Some industrial area. Twist again. Time Industries. What are they queuing up for? There's a double queue here. And a Ferris wheel that nobody wants to go on. This guy doesn't look too impressed. He's like, my kids want to go on this. Darn it. Why are there two queues? <gasps> I think this is the nighttime one. Is this the one they asked us to go on at night? What is happening? This is a, sh a dual synchronized shooting ride? I have never seen that before. That is cool. If that is what I think it is, it is. Oh, too bad we could play this co-op or something. Have Zell in the left one and I'm in the right one. That'd be kind of cool. If they could manage to make Planet Coaster 2, if they do make a Planet Coaster 2, hopefully, if they could manage to make it co-op somehow, that would be incredible. Uh, if they did it with the Unreal Engine 5, they could do it. I know that level designers could design it like same time in the Unreal Engine 5, and uh, that is going to be a game changer. Games are going to be able to be worked on so much quicker. Okay, I guess we're going to be riding this like twice or something. Start the shooting ride. All right, let's try this out. Oh, shoot. What? Nothing works. Somehow I just clicked Discord. Hopefully you guys didn't see that in the video. Yeah, this isn't seeming like it works. Huh. Nope, not going for that one. See, I'm hitting them, but nothing's happening. I almost feel like maybe some of these triggers are set for the other ride. 
and then that's why they're not registering because they're intended to be shot from the other ride. Huh. You know what I've never done? I've never watched, I like, I've always played the shooting ride, but I don't think I've seen one being like open where the, like the guests are on it. So I'm really curious to know if the guests are shooting these. Maybe what we could do for the other one, don't shoot the guests, boop. Maybe we could watch them, the other one. I, it's a little chaotic, like, it, it does feel like an actual shooting ride, like, try to hit as many targets as you can. But I think, like, the the new standard for these shooting rides, like, this little statue is kind of cool. Um, but, like, trying to shoot objects, like, because uh, you can set triggers to animatronics and stuff. So if you shoot the animatronics, something happens. You can set it, the trigger to a bunch of things. Or you can put the the trigger inside of something. Kind of like mask it a little bit. And then when you hit the trigger, like it causes like chain reaction. And you know, you hit, you shoot this and something pops out and then you can shoot that and then something else pops out. Um, give you do like a, a combo effect. Or like you shoot a barrel and it explodes, you know, different things like that. Where this just kind of feels like a little bit of like mindless targets, which is okay. Like it's fun for the guests and stuff, but for me, I've come to want to expect a little bit more from these shooting rides, especially after seeing what Class Mamelia did with uh, Paint the Town. You could just do so many crazy triggers and complicated uh, designs with this. But like at, overall, that's still pretty good. Like there's tons of there's tons of targets in there, and um, there you guys go. You could try to beat my high score, which would probably be very easy because I yeah um, quit. So if we go to the second one. Maybe we could try to enjoy the scenery a little bit more. So we'll go into ride camera. And I think what I want to try to do is like watch the guests play. Let's try this out. This is one guy. All right. You better uh, not let us down, dude. Sounds like a freaking arcade in here. Um, I think what you could do, I, I do think some of them are intended to only work for one of these rides. I'm not entirely sure how that works. This is the first time I've seen a dual synchronized shooting ride, which is actually quite cool. I, I do like that idea. But if, if some of them are only working for the other one, what I would recommend doing is coloring one blue 
and the other red, and then coloring one of these cars red and blue. At least so we know we gotta shoot the blue ones while we're on the blue ride, and red shoots the red ones. Because I do know for a fact I was shooting some and it was just not doing anything, and it must have been triggered to the other ride. So that's, that's something to test out, I guess. But I do like the innovation here, trying to create a, a dual synchronized shooting ride, which is quite cool. And there's a lot of different scenes in here, which is quite cool. It's a lot going on. All right, well, there it is, a shooting ride. That wasn't uh, expected. I like the surprise. Let's go see what else this theme park has to offer. We are at nighttime now. Got to look at things a little bit here at night. We got Twist again. Everyone's in queue for this guy. Is this... Ooh. What What did they say? Um, ride the trackless ride. Well, this is not the trackless ride, so we'll go back to daytime here. And uh, twist again. There's a look at the stats. If you guys want to see it, it looks like it's either a boomerang or a... Yeah, it's a boomerang. Boo, boo, boom. We'll go seat view. Off we go. is i'm not the biggest fan of boomerangs they can give pretty standard experience in terms of the game you know um unless unless you can try to do something really crazy i know a long time ago we did like i think it was our second contest ever was a boomerang contest because the boomerangs were introduced a little bit later into planet coaster with an update or something um so you know we created the craziest boomerangs and i think after that experience all other boomerangs seemed kind of mild and boring <laughs> so i i think that that spoiled me very very early on smith's fish and chips that's fun no entry, staff only. Fine. Wait, can we go in here? Nope. To be continued. And the herp de derp de der. Well, you know what this reminds me of? I see a message from Moomin on Discord right now. He sent me a picture of the whirly rake and a little space. And he says, get building. Uh, and this is inspired by Moomin Little Socks is worthy to farm. Just reminding me that I'm supposed to get into Planet Coaster and build something. Hopefully it's not too late. I'll check my messages after this park and see if I still have time left to fill my spot. Um, I kind of forgot. Too many things going on. Oswald's Theater. Ooh. I guess if I do that, I will do a little speed build and uh, make a video on it, I guess. herp de derp de der I guess I'm making a whirly rig. It's really not my favorite ride. I just like this song. I'm gonna hate the whirly rig after having to build one. Spin. Ooh, look at this ice cream truck. Oh, that's a good um, soft cone. Mmm. Watch out! Don't cross, don't cross, don't cross, don't cross. What are you doing? Oh. Lucky. Oh. There we go. 
Wait, is this like coming soon? Is this ride in test mode? It is. We could um give it a go. A little little quick test. Make sure everything's safe. So we can start constructing that boarding station for the future guests. Now it is interesting, um Squash Pickle said that this is gonna be expanded upon throughout the seasons? Something like that. So in, in theory, this is a work in progress and this area is going to be built. It says coming soon. I don't know how I feel about that because we usually say um, we don't feature work in progresses because we want to just see the final thing. And the reason for that is because if we do get an update, say you add in this little area here and maybe an area back there, we're exploring everything like 90% of the park we've already explored. We would only really be updating those back areas and that's not really a full video. It makes for a very awkward situation if you understand what I'm saying. So it's kind of like, what do you do with it? Unless you double the size of the park, I don't know if it's, um, if everyone's gonna want to ride all the rides again and, and, unless you, like, update everything and change everything, but I, that's just a lot of work. Why not just, yeah. Anyways, Barn Racers, it's a wooden coaster. There's, look at the stats. We're gonna go at the back of the train. Train one, seat six, the back, popped up. Watch them all, put their arms up, enjoy the ride. Oh, very fun. Got to remind you guys, um, Squash Pickle is currently listed as a builder. One of the newer members to the community. Not uh, the most experienced in terms of what they've created in the game and put on their workshop so far. And this is looking very expert quality. Everything is polished. There's attention to detail everywhere. And it looks fantastic. Ob o Oswald's Observatory. Is this um, Oswald Motors? This little kitty ride. Guess we could give this a little go. These are always fun. Now, they did say something about the uh, ride the trackless ride at night. We have not seen the trackless ride, have we? Now, the one problem with this ride is it looks like there's only one car. <laughs> so, these guys are going to be waiting a very, very long time. That is quite a bummer. I am sorry to all the people in line. Let's go. See you in an hour. We're going two times speed. You know what? Passing by that um, that flat ride there, the flying airplanes, it had me thinking. It's very rare that we see ride or coaster interaction with flat rides. It would be a fun experiment if that was the main 
primary focus of somebody's build. So you have coasters going through Helion rings, right through Ferris wheels. Um, you have car rides passing by, all the different flat rides almost getting hit. Seeing those planes flying really close to us while we're on a different experience was a really cool experience. I'm, I'm gonna kick everybody out. I'm gonna do you guys a favor and uh, close this ride down and put like 12 cars on this. Uh, I can only put it back in test mode. Yeah, those poor people. Sorry, I'm doing you a favor. Come back another time. It'll be okay. <laughs> But yeah, I would like to see a park where it's like pure ride to flat ride interaction and see what kind of results you could get from that. Imagine like a coaster like flying through this Ferris wheel and zipping around it and back through it and um, boomerangs passing through Helions. And when it comes up and does its little roll at the top there, there's a ride swinging through it, like a hammer swinging through it. You know, there's, there's a lot of interesting things you could do with that. Um, we still never saw the track ride. That must have been this. Time Industries. Time Turners? Let me check the ride list. A trackless ride. Is there something underground? Doesn't appear to be. Whoosh. Maybe we could give this uh, train a ride. Why not? We're pulling into this station, Oswald's Railway. It's always uh, a little tricky trying to figure out how to ride a train. Sitting in the seat never really works. But we'll go, we'll go two times speed on this and uh, check out the park from a different perspective. Watch out! Ugh. Okay, so there's only one station, which means it's actually just a ride. It's not a, it's not transportation, which is pretty cool. So glad we give, uh, got to give that a ride there. I think we hit all the attractions here. Some of them are in test mode. So um, I guess my only feedback for you would be to put some ambient speakers around the park, some some music on some of the rides. It's a little bit quiet at times, especially in that shooting ride. Uh, you know, just a little bit of music can go a long way. Go a long way. The um, half the rides being in test mode. This one back here, the this one and. Uh, the the coaster here and then the coming soon areas it, it makes you kind of feel like oh i wish i got to see what that would have looked like and as you saying this is an ongoing project you might regret that later because you're going to start either on the mini park contest you're going to do this and then you're going to go oh oswald's observatory i got to go back and update that and for what like an extended little area over here or a couple rides over there unless you actually go all the way out here and all the way out there and even if you do that add to here add to there i don't know it's it's less real estate than what's currently being used so it's actually you know it's not going to double the park size or anything i guess what i'm trying to say is i don't know if um continuation parks is a good plan <laughs> but i could be proven wrong if you send this back in one day and it's double the size and it's you know reinvigorated and all this stuff is different and updated so it's a completely new experience i'll be proven wrong but that is a big undertaking in my opinion and honestly what we saw here today was quite fine enough i think this is a good complete park spotlight and you did a really good job with everything that i see here and i'm happy with the park the way it is currently and we do see plenty of parks that say coming soon and 
you know, they're ex planning on expanding the area just uh, for future updates, but they don't actually plan on updating it. They're just doing that for the immersion and the realism of, you know, the park is continuously worked on by the developers, you know, and uh, the engineers and all that. So it's just a nice little touch that people add in. But uh, usually they, they have the park 100% completed and that's just an addition. So um, yeah, the, I thought everything about this was great, especially for a builder. I mean, I think you deserve a promotion off of this 100%. You know, the parking lot space, the back area, it's all looking really nice. The park was really fun, very realistic, some great immersion in there. Um, I love the little flat rides. It's great. This is just really well done. Definitely feeling similar to Moomin Sox's Worthington Farms. If anyone had seen that, uh, you'll definitely recognize some of the styles and how it was constructed. It's really good stuff. I think you did an awesome job, Squash Pickle. Love the name. <laughs> love the build. Great things to come from Squash Pickle. So there you guys go. What did you think? Leave your comments down below. Give one additional shout out to Squash Pickle for supporting the show through Patreon. Really appreciate your support. If, any, if anyone else wants to continue to help support the show to keep these videos coming out, check out the Patreon program. Links are in the description below. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.